Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So let's say you have a beautiful shrimp tank, everything is great, your shrimp are happy and healthy, but suddenly you see something like this. So what is it? Is it dead shrimp? Something's wrong? Is it a ghost? No. This is a shrimp mold. And today we're gonna talk about why you should be happy to see something like this and why you shouldn't remove it from the tank. As always, let's start from the basics. What you should know is that the shrimp are invertebrates. And as most of the invertebrates, they have exoskeleton. You can think of it as kind of an armor that protects the shrimp that lives in it. But the problem with that is that shrimp needs to grow. And this kind of an armor doesn't grow together with the shrimp. So at some point of time, this armor, exoskeleton or mold will be simply too small for the shrimp to fit inside. This is why from time to time, shrimp simply drop the old exoskeleton and grow new one. How often? It depends on the age of the shrimp. Adults can do it every four weeks, but young, small shrimp are growing much faster and this is why they can mold every week. Actually, when Neocaridina shrimp are born, they are molting almost immediately. Molting is also very important for breeding, because when a female shrimp leaves the hard shell, then she can release some kind of pheromones. This encourages the males to mate with her. Sometimes you can recognize when shrimp is about to molt. If any of your shrimp is spending a lot of time standing still in one place, there is a good chance that it's ready to molt. During that time, it will not eat, it will not move, and it might even almost look dead. And right after molting, shrimp are very soft and feel threatened, which is understandable. This is why they might hide for at least a few days until the new shell is hard. But when you see a fresh mold in your tank, you should absolutely leave it where it is and don't remove it from your tank. Shrimp molds are an excellent source of calcium for the other shrimp in your tank. They're gonna be more than happy to eat this stuff because it helps them to create their own exoskeletons. It's actually quite common that some of your shrimp might be molting and you don't even notice because the molds are eaten by other shrimp before you see it in your tank. Unfortunately, it sometimes happens that your shrimp will have bad molting. This is natural and you should expect this to happen. If one or two shrimp out of 50 dies out of molting problems, that's okay. But if half of the colony dies because of it, then there is a problem. And in 90% of cases, the problem is either water parameters or diet. Different types of shrimp have different requirements, but if molting problems are related to water quality or parameters, you should check GH and KH requirements for your shrimp type. And second, but less common possibility is diet. You should provide them with some kind of uh, algae wafers, blanched vegetables, biofilm and shrimp specific foods, because those foods also include minerals that shrimp need to survive. So just to summarize, if you find a lot of molds in your tank, don't be scared, you should actually be happy. Don't remove them from your tank, leave them for the other shrimp to eat. And in case of any problems, check the water parameters against the requirements of your shrimp. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, I really appreciate that. And as always, See you in the next one.